so uh, just running through wiring diagrams of part three of our XD Evil connection. Um, so this is wiring diagrams all included in the software. Uh, so we've got various different systems on this particular bike, so we've got various different wiring diagrams. So just a quick run through a few of the features. So you can see here just some basic information included within the software in the background about the switch. Switch. So this is there for a lot of the components. <coughs> so if you're not sure what you're looking at or what you're looking for, and on a different type of component you're looking at, there's some information here that can help you with the pictures of the component, technical information about the part, often including testing procedures, example values, and other bits of background information. So that was the ABS system. system so you can see we can just flick around and look at different components. This is all the basic features of the uh, wiring diagrams. So a bit of information about a relay. Some of it is uh, specific to the part on the particular bike, some of it is going to be just generic information giving you information on different types of relays for example, different types of lambda sensor, things like that. General operation systems and uh, testing procedures. So here we've got an example oscilloscope trace if you're using a scope to check components before replacement to confirm the fault. Here's an example of a good trace on there as well. And here we can see we a bit more information just about general supply lines, power lines and earths and little notes about checking electrical continuity, uh, earth resistances, all these things can cause big problems in uh, fuel injection systems. Uh, and they're often things that people tend to overlook, not so important with new bikes but as a lot of these earlier models to 10 years or so old with the older Ducatis for example, they were pretty complicated back then. Some of those are all starting to develop faults now along with a lot of other fuel injected bikes, mainly wiring issues where looms are a bit tight or things have been removed and replaced several times or bikes have crashed and loom hasn't been uh, installed correctly causing stress points. These things are starting to show up now on bikes that are 10 years or so old. So these wiring diagrams help immensely. Although obviously this is a brand new model that's three, three or four years old. So now then we're into the instrument panel wiring diagram. Again, all these components are here see the colouring of the wires, we can click on the wires and follow the uh, path of those connections. We can click on that and that shows us the direction of the travel of electricity if you like. So that's an earth line so you can see and that's a power line. So you can see where they're all going, which components are linked up for a fault. And we can view that then with all the components that are linked up in that particular power section there. So that will be a 12 volt power line. You can see all the components that are linked up in that particular system, all marked with code number which relates to the diagram. See all the components change that lists all the components that are in that uh, particular section of the loom. And then down to the final one, the petrol injection wiring diagram. Uh, and again, all the same applies here. So lots of information for the background, information about the components, wiring colours, uh, all the components are marked. And in some cases you've got example oscilloscope traces uh, 
uh, information where it says card there that just gives you information generic information about components scroll through that every time we highlight a component it flicks us to that component on the wiring diagram so it's pretty quick and easy to get through the system look for the information that you, uh, you wish to find out about manual mode that would if you had a scope the option on the scope that would just open up the scope section of the software and you can connect to your Texa uh, oscilloscope pre-configured ready for testing that component and then we've got a pinout of the ECU so you can see the ECU connector pinouts uh, in case you're back probing ECU connectors check continuity or voltage here we go more information generic information about lambda sensors the different types what they do how they operate and uh, ways of testing and another example oscilloscope trace should see if you want to check for correct operation of a O2 sensor. So that was all the wiring diagrams. We also have technical information uh, in here. So the amount of vary, uh, information varies between models. But it's ever increasing. And just an example of what's in here with, uh, with this one. Just uh, a little note about the requirement. Upgrading the key, information about new key storing, and then under that we have some details about the Texa Tension Controller, which is the frequency belt tester which we supply. So just examples of information and settings for that to make sure the belts are tensioned correctly. Extremely important as I'm sure you're aware of these models. Well, that's the third and last of our XDF all uh, demonstration. I hope you uh, enjoyed that little run through and uh, leave some comments if you want to see something else. Many thanks.